So I've just been to the doctors for a fasting blood test, but on the way back I decided to go and get the chicken to save me going out again later. So we've got some chicken in there, there's some chicken to be cooked. I've got a bag of chicken, the raw mince chicken in there, and I've also got the chicken feet. Now I am going to go and make my coffee and I'll be able to have that first sip. I'm dying for this coffee. Anyways, oh, that's even better today. I've had to wait an hour and a half. No, yeah, about an hour and a half since I got up. <sighs> Been and had my blood test done, had my B12 injection, so I'm good for the next three months. Went to Tesco and picked up the chicken. Went over to Furry Feasts and got the raw mince chicken and the chicken feet. And the weather is half decent. The sun is coming out, but we are getting some really, really strong gusts of wind. Anyway, no sign of the squirrel yet. It doesn't look like anything's been disturbed in that plate. So we'll see what happens. Come on. Hello.
And my lunch today, because I, when I was in Tesco's, I bought some fresh tiger loaf. So I've got prawn and mayonnaise sandwiches. I've got the end piece of the bread. And I believe my grandma used to call it the knob. I don't know why. I've got myself a pickled gherkin. And then I've got some of my bread and butter pudding that I made yesterday because it's nice cold as well as hot. Who do we think is in this mess of a bed? Oh, yeah. What a surprise. It's Naughty Norman. And there's Kenny, all snug. And Carol's fleecy blanket. He pulls that himself. Makes me want to gag when I see it in his mouth, but... At least he's comfortable. So my dinner today is belly pork slices because there was a pack of six. I had three yesterday. I'm having the other three tonight with jacket potato and that has been smothered with butter and has cheese on the top. So I'm really looking forward to that. And the way I do my jacket potatoes when the skins are not that good is peel them and then put them in the oven for an hour or so to cook and they crisp up on the outside and form a skin of their own which is really really nice so you've got no worries about eating any nasties or anything like that anyway i'm off to eat my dinner so my dessert today is going to be one of these as much as i do not like cheesecakes i do like these and they are very expensive for what they are but i actually got these a bit cheaper hence me buying them um, I usually have the one that has the honeycomb balls on the top because I like that one. But I'm going to give this one a go because I do like chocolate and I do like salted caramel. So wish me luck.